I've had quite a few requests to show you how to use uh, QuickTime with an alpha channel or indeed any file with an alpha channel in Nucoda to do some compositing. I have two files in the library here. I have a background, I have a foreground. The foreground is a QuickTime with an alpha channel. Normally those will be animation or uncompressed millions of colors uh, in, the, uh, in the QuickTime format. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my background to the timeline. I'm going to add a new track and I'm going to add my foreground as well. Now you'll see that currently the foreground and the background uh, are, not, uh, are not overlaid. So what I'm going to do is the following. Since I know that the foreground has got an alpha channel I'm going to go to the matte tool in my base layer this could be an input effects layer or a user effects layer as well I'm going to select the clip in the library and I'm going to set it as its own alpha channel or as its own matte and then I'm going to set the matte to be from the alpha channel now you're still not going to see any kind of overlay the second thing we need to do is to add the composite effect. So I'm going to click on the composite effect button which will automatically add the over effect over here. And then the last thing I need to do is for that layer in the router I need to set the alpha output to be this layer. And you'll see that we've got the overlay. I'm just going to go to the pan and scan I can go and scale that now and you'll see I've got the overlay there. Now I can use the composite effect as well to fade that in and out if I wish or to change the blend modes 